Adam Stream presents the 2010 Heroes of Conservation. We selected six finalists and Toyota will award $5,000 to each hero and a new 2010 Forerunner to the winner in October. I'm Eddie Nickens, editor-at-large for Field and Stream Magazine, and I'm here where the prairies meet the Rocky Mountains in a town named for Buffalo Bill himself, Cody, Wyoming. Now, cowboys might claim the history of this western landmark, but longtime angler Bob Capron, he's riding herd on a local Trout Unlimited chapter struggling with one of the thorniest issues in the West, saving the Yellowstone cutthroat trout one fish at a time. I like fishing all my life. Yellowstone cutthroat are really a beautiful trout. The Shoshone River drains fertile agricultural lands around Cody, Wyoming. The river brings life to hundreds of thousands of acres of rich farm fields, but trouble waits for native cutthroat trout. Trapped in a maze of irrigation ditches, hundreds of thousands of the fish die. Entrainment or the loss of fish to irrigation canals is a, is a pretty big deal. Working with farmers, utility companies, and Wyoming towns, Bob Capron has pulled together a huge coalition of volunteers. Their goal, keep native Yellowstone cutthroat trout in the wild Wyoming rivers where they belong. Bob Capron is definitely leading the charge. He sees an opportunity, brings it to our attention, and encourages everyone in the state to work on those opportunities. So Bob, you got us uh, set up with the LR24 Electro Fisher. What's the story with that? We like to set these to stun the fish for, say, five seconds. Your netter has to be right there with you. And on his toes, when a fish shows, he's got about two seconds to scoop him up. All right, let's give this a shot. A little ghost busting Shoshone River style. Bob, never thought I'd say this to a Wyoming cowboy, but turn me on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what's that beep, beep, beeping sound? That there's electricity in the water. That's why we're wearing these rubber gloves. As a game and fish person, we are devoted ourselves, but Bob's out here doing this without being paid. And uh, he does an incredible amount of work. Bob is one of those guys that doesn't talk a lot about himself, but when Bob does talk, um, you know it's important. After we got the Trout Unlimited chapter formed, and we were kind of searching around for projects, I said, let's start a canal salvage and see how many fish we can save back to the rivers. Hey, this, uh, this clump of brush up here looks like a pretty trouty spot. Yeah, looks good. Oh, oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. It, nice fish! So, Bob, that was a fish that was on its way to a dead end. That's right. He's probably ended up down in the, the hay meadow someplace. Man, glad we could get him out of there. The real secret to uh, solving the problem of fish loss to irrigation diversions is to establish self-cleaning fish screens. We have that in place just as a test to see how many fish are actually entering this irrigation system. Before we put in the screen, we want to know how about is this problem? Yeah, we're going to jump down in here and see if there's any uh, fish in there. The little ones like that are really the hardest to keep in the river where they belong. That's 10 or 12 fish right there. The margin between death in a ditch and life in a river, it's just 20 feet wide here. If we had our ultimate goal would be to have a screen up here 
and then this uh, fish moving would be unnecessary. And never even get in the ditch. That's correct, yes. The way that, that Bob has really made a difference is just going out and doing uh, what he does for our resources. It's really effective. Everybody else just comes to his side. Someone had to do something about these deadly ditches. Someone had to stand up for Yellowstone cutthroat trout. That someone is Bob Capron. I'm gonna leave Wyoming a wilder place, he says, and that's just the kind of legacy you'd expect from a hero of conservation. Very rewarding to uh, maintain the, the country is, that I've known all my life and uh, keep it kind of like it always was with the native species doing what they were meant to do.